Wow, look at that. So Taylor, what is this? Uh, we actually made fresh pasta for you today. And in the pasta is weed. And in the pasta, in the pasta is weed. And then on the pasta is weed. And then with all of that is also weed. Yes, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. <laughs>
And when the blue one turns green, you have orange cream soda. Incredible. So, I mean, we have a particular subject matter that we're going for with our dinner, too. The idea is to make cocktails with cannabis. We want to use every part of the plant. We have all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I, I actually brought a bunch of stuff from our pantry that Amazing. you can kind of smell. These are all terpenes. This is a tangy land terpene. Oh, damn. It's like piney and citrusy. Mm -hmm. What's the solution that it's in? That's just pure terpenes. It's, it's like, the liquid that was actually in the plant. It's not. Yeah, it's in essential okay, oil. Okay. That was in got the it, plant. got yeah. it, got it. Yeah, so this is a unique product. So this is live resin. This is a product that was made in, in my facility. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> so a concentrate like that, like that's a live plant. I feel like that's I just smelling. smelled Mother Nature in yeah. all her glory. I know, right? Isn't that incredible? I've just never smelled anything so compl complex and dynamic. Isn't that cool? So cool. So, um, you know, did you have an idea for like a drink or two that you wanted to put together for the party? Funny enough, last year, right around the same time, our menu was all about apples. You know, and during our R&D sessions, and we were like, all right, how many ways can we mess with an apple? We are like, well, what's your earliest memory of <laughs> the smoking apple pot? Pie. Is it an apple? Yeah, right? So what we did is we hollowed out the apple and then poured the drink into the apple, put the apple top back on, and then the garnish was uh, dried sage leaves that we'd light on fire table set. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we can do that again, but with real weed this Exactly, time. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. So I'm thinking we should make them so that when the drink is gone, you can smoke out of it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> exactly, exactly. OK, perfect. OK, so I'm going to show you our cannabis pantry. Of course, you remember Vanessa and Rye. What's going on, you guys? All right, behold our weed pantry. <laughs> so, everything in here comes from the cannabis plant, but it's all just in different forms, and you can cook in different ways with all of them. OK, I'm excited, and I'm nervous, and I'm going to need your help <laughs> probably a lot. Great, that's a perfect place to be in. <laughs> all right, let's get started. What are we cooking today? So we're going to start off making pasta dough. This is semolina flour. Yes. So we make a well with the semolina. Then you start with the yolks and the olive oil in the center. You slowly bring it together, correct? We're trying to keep this meal a little on the lighter side in terms of infusion. So that's CBD olive oil. This is 400 milligrams for the entire container. So we put in about two. Sounds good. In the south, their pastas are traditionally just with flour and water. I like. I like egg. I love the <laughs> egg. And you want it to be creamy and rich. How do you tell when you're done kneading? It's pretty elastic. It bounces back at you. So I'm going to let this rest now. So cheese. we're going to go into the pot with some milk. Whole milk, right? Yes, and then cream. Just go 50-50. Cool. And then we're going to turn it on pretty low while the cream and milk themselves are heating up. I actually want to infuse it. Right, so we need to put some cannabis into this. Yes. OK, so we can do the ghost train terpenes and the ricotta, and I think that'll go really nice with the squash. It's buttery and acidic. How much of that goes in some? I would do two, three drops max. It's, it's super potent. It's almost to a simmer. I'm going to add some white vinegar. And I'm going to add some lemon juice. And this will make it curdle, right? And I'm just gently peeling back. And I usually set it aside for about 20, 30 minutes just to let it soak in its own liquid. And then I strain it out. Let's do pancetta next. So by nature, it's going to just start leaking out its own fat. All the pieces individually are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and crispier and crispier and crispier, and more delicious. And then we're going to infuse that fat with his choice. What do we got, Rob? But I guess it does need to be strong enough to hold up to that really fatty. That's a kosher dog. That's real strong and pungent. Yeah, I feel like that one will shine through a little bit more just because it's a little bit stronger. Kosherize some pork. I like it. I'm going to strain off the pancetta now. And then I'm going to cool this oil down a little bit. And this is the oil that's going to be infused with weed. Because we're steeping it in the oil, it's going to minorly activate it, but it's it's not going to be much at all, because in there, it's not going to be hot, right? No, my cryo-back machine essentially does what your food saver does, but better. So for this, it's going to take the nugs, and it's going to um, push air into them so that it's easier to pull air out of them. I'm going to do that a couple times, and it's going to heavily absorb. It's expanding in here. It's bubbling super heavy pushing all of that air Whoa. inside, and now it's going to suck it out. It's 
<laughs> Shit, me. It's okay. So what you're left with is this. I love butternut. And then we're gonna put some of the ricotta. Yep, I'm gonna just gonna mix it up together. Part of me wants to put cannabis leaves in here. It's pretty tender if you wanna taste it. Nothing's gonna happen to me, right? No, no, you won't get high, I promise. Okay. Well, please. It's pretty tender. Yeah. This is okay. Yeah. That looks beautiful. How's that? It's good. It's a little sweet, but I think it's gonna go really well with the fat. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Ready? I'm actually glad that you got the hand crank one. I feel like it's super intimate and beautiful and like... Some beautiful pasta. This is some beautiful pasta. Because we're rolling it, I'm gonna brush the whole pasta. With some egg, it's essentially a glue. I kinda wanna make big dumplings because I want to showcase the filling. Mm -hmm. I just wanna roll it. It's like rolling a long blunt in sections, and then you just chop it up, and then you have a bunch of blunts. You want to give it a try? Raviolis. Yes, I do. Just roll it and like kind of tuck it up, like a joint. Yeah, totally. Like a joint. I'm going to roll. Just keep flipping here. Oh, just keep rolling it that mm -hmm. way. You got it. You guys, professional joint rollers could actually be pasta makers. Totally. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. beautiful. Bravo. And then we just <laughs> cut here, and then really make a good seal. He's like wrapping it like a yeah, press. Yeah, no, this is pretty professional. Awesome. All right, great. I'm glad my real world street smarts have come in handy. They came in the back. Kitchen. Who knew? This is where it all begins. These are fresh cannabis plants. This would typically be picked and dried, and then you'd be able to smoke it. But for this episode, we're gonna be working with a very special kind of hash called live resin that's drawn from fresh buds like this one right here. That's what the photo looks like at first, and then by the time we get down into it, we can see individual trichome heads very clearly. Most people that smoke weed have never actually even seen a live plant. Most of the aroma of these plants actually gets lost before it ends up as dried, smokable flour. You actually lose almost 90% of your terpenes. So with live resin, what we're trying to do is to pick the best parts of the best plants, freeze them immediately, and then process them so that you really bottle this essence. One of the most interesting things about the cannabis plant is how diverse it is and how many types of aromas and smells you can get out of it. Why are there so many different kinds of wheat? The biodiversity of an organism is always there, unless it's been bred out with cannabis, because it's not become an industry until the last five years. It was wild, it was everywhere. Everybody had all these different genetics, they were growing them in their closets and breeding them together and finding seeds. And so there was this huge biodiversity created very early on, and then now people are kind of dialing it back in by selecting it. Man, that's wild, you know, I think the politics around it have made people forget that, look, this is a plant that yields a flower, that yields a fruit, and that fruit is tasty. Yeah. It's as simple as that. I mean, a living cannabis plant is one of the more beautiful flowers, right? It just draws you in. There's no wonder we've been it's carrying this plant yeah. in different cultures, right? There's mm -hmm. just so much more going on in a living plant, and I figured out a way to capture that, and it's just simple cryogenic freezing and just handling it very quickly and thoughtfully. I come from a wine, the wine world before getting into all this stuff, and now I'm kind of having this appreciation through nice resins for like the actual like flavors and things that I tasted in grapes before. And that's something that we're gonna be experiencing tonight. Like in each dish that we're gonna be eating, there's different terpenes, each drink, you know, each smell out of these terpene diffusers. Oh, thank you so much. So guys, this is Devin. She owns a bar called Walker Inn, and she's fantastic at making cocktails, and she's making the cannabis-infused cocktails that we're gonna be having. Devin, what's in this? So starting off that booze, to begin, we've got a house uh, grapefruit soda, so fresh grapefruit cordial, uh, fresh lime juice, club soda, and then the rim is CBD honey pot, as well as a CBD kosher salt. All right, here comes the first course. Mm -hmm. So these are oysters with champagne mignonette, Cannabis leaves instead of tarragon, black pepper, red wine vinegar. Taylor's gonna pour some liquid nitrogen 
over the ice with a cherry diesel terpene drop over top. So you should smell that, take it in. Eat one of the oysters, take a drink of the cocktail, and then we will set down a dab rig in front of you, and you will take that delicious dab. The dab will go with the first things that you ate, um, and then it'll modify the things that come after it. All right, here we go. Oh, my god. <laughs> Salt oh. as you wish. The high mm. school, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that really oh that man. So mm. That is so good. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, man. That is so tasty. What strain was that again, Bill? It's called permafrost. <laughs> it's very on the upside. Sativa, I think it tastes a little bit like Sprite. It was exactly totally. perfect was with the strain. It's like lime peel, like, yeah. like the oil part of citrus fruit. Yes, exactly. Cool. Everything tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> and everything has like a sweet ocean water taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, yeah, the, it's really nicely paired. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is beef tartare. It has avocado slices, a little bit of red wine vinegar. It's actually rubbed in Vaudabon spice and a little bit of CBD. It has a little bit of cured egg yolk on top of it, as well as an herb salad for acidity. So it's going to be a little bit creamy, a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, and then very, very, very herbaceous. And the beef also has THC oil in it. We're talking like maybe three milligrams per person. And then we put a CBD olive oil down for the avocado, so it'll really balance itself out. Yeah, and then uh, for the dab that you're getting paired with this, um, you're getting a SFV OG live sugar. That's a very um, rich, a little bit kind of almost smoky. I think it'll go good with the beef. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wow. wow. That mm. is so good. Good so lord. Good. Wow. Well done, Rai. That really matches, huh? Damn. Sure. Oh, wow. my god. Yeah, all the spicy, savory notes oh. from the beef are also in that strain. Yeah. Super complex. It's super woody. Mm -hmm. That just, like, the beef just came back alive in my mouth. It did, <laughs> right? so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. at the Walker Inn, we'll take like a traditional style of wine and we'll exaggerate it. We're like, what would it be like to drink a glass of Riesling in the Swiss Alps? So it's not actually Riesling. I went with sparkling wine instead because I thought that would be better to cut through the creamy pasta. But we have a little bit of Suze, so a gentian liqueur from that part of the world. It brings a little nice herbaceous bitterness to it. And I put some terpenes. So you get your nose in there, you can really get that like super piney kind of citrusy. Oh, like an elderflower kind of. There's elderflower as well, yeah. So it's like floral, kind of woodsy, piney. What do we have here? Wow, look at that. Uh, we actually made fresh pasta for you today. In the pasta, we put CBD olive oil, and then we also made ricotta, which is on the inside of your pasta today. And the ricotta is also infused. With terpene, we did the... Ghost train haze. And then that also has some mashed squash, but the squash isn't pureed, so when you bite into it, you're gonna have a little bit of texture. Um, and in that as well is some cannabis leaves. Outside, we have uh, some rendered pancetta fat. We toasted buds, and then we cryovacked it to like fully infuse it inside all of the buds. And then what we just did right now is retoasted them. So you actually have like a crumble, per se, on the top of your pasta, but it's straight up buds. On top of that, we also have some pancetta. We have some uh, dark chili powder, lemon zest, and fresh mint. And the dab that's going to be paired with this is cheese stomper. Um, it's got a It's got a really nice, sweet, cool, complex flavor. So hope you enjoy. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys. Bon appetit. Mid meal. <laughs> Oh, the mint leaf on oh mine, that was great. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, my God. Every flavor, once again, rye kills it. Wow. It lightens this up. Has anyone tried eating a bud yet? <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it tastes like Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of them even almost taste like bacon, because they're so crispy and fatty. Oh, yeah. And salty. <laughs> At the Walker Inn last year, we did a whole apple theme menu. And we were like, well, it would be pretty dumb if we didn't 
reference an apple in this way in order to replicate weed legally. We made a drink that had mezcal and then some hops in it, so to get like herbaceousness and then also smoke. And then on top, we lit dried sage leaves on fire. Wow, and there's little buds sticking on the top, huh? Yeah, exactly. So at the end of this, we're gonna see if we can smoke it. All right, dessert. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So we have a cream puff that we actually dipped in an ice malt sugar. On top, it's got some crystallized CBD and Florida cell, so it's gonna be a little bit salty and crunchy. And then inside, we have some chai cream that has actually been also infused. We steeped it in the XJ13 cannabis before we cooled it down and then turned it into whipped cream. And then your uh, turp pairing for this one is a Trey Star live butter. Super deep, spicy, cool thing. I think it'll go nice with the spice of the chai. Wow. Whoa. Oh, my God. What the? That is just the craziest bite. It's salty, it's chocolatey, it's creamy. It's got a little dough, flaky the action. Salt is great. Ooh, wow, that's super boozy. Wow. It's almost got like a lemongrassy kind of undertone. It's like an echo of the chai to me. I thought that was so perfect. Great choice, Ryan. My God, perfect. Yeah. Amazing. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for lending your creativity to what turned out to be an incredible meal. I'd like to think that we are some of the people on the cutting edge of edible cannabis. And I think that this is definitely, uh, you know, another raising of the bar for us. Really, Taylor, exceptional. This has been incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And Devin, the cocktails were amazing. And especially this apple one. I mean, I think you've really, you know, broken new ground with this thing. It's <laughs> my new invention. Let's give it a try. OK. Dude! It worked. <laughs> that tastes like high school. <laughs> <laughs>